Yes, so very good morning once again to all the students of class 9th B. Uh, we are going to revise second chapter today. Yesterday we have completed chapter packing. Fine, revisions has already started. So uh, first part of reach for the top is Santosh Yadav. How do you remember Santosh Yadav? Yes, Soumya, you tell me. She's the, oh my God, is she? That's why I asked the Soumya only because I know that she has not read anything about. You are mixing two parts. Yes, better you tell. Yes. So this is what na for online class ke baad jab hum school aayenge. This is what I am expecting. Sit down, please. Yes, Riyanshika has written the girl who scaled Mount Everest twice. Exactly. I forgot your name. Yes, Gurshan has given the correct answer to us. So we should remember this girl, Santosh Yadav, who conquered Mount Everest twice. Uh, Brijesh classes here, please sit accordingly. Right. So Santosh Yadav was born in small village of Joniawas of Revdi district, Haryana. And being born in such family, uh, you can say in Haryana, the birth of the girl is not that celebrated. But after five brothers, when a girl was born, everybody was happy that a girl is there. But she was a different girl. She was not like other rest of the girls in Haryana that who were suppressed under the patriarchy. Patriarchy is the system where male dominance is there. You should know the words. Fine. So this is called patriarchy. Though this chapter me kahi pe ye word mention nahi hai, or they have not directly mentioned this, but yes, still patriarchal society is the society where male dominance is. Though she was born in Haryana, Revdi district, specifically the place Jonia was, and uh, when she was born, everybody was happy that after five brothers, finally, the youngest child she was, fine, of the family, a girl. She was a different girl. Why? Uh, you know, Santosh was not like other girls who would wear whatever parents are asking her to wear. She would wear shorts. She would say, this is my life. This is, I should know how to wear and how to dress up. Nobody will tell me. So that's why she was from birth onwards, you can say she was a free spirited girl. This is one of the traits of her personality. Fine, free spirited nature means she was not under the, uh, you can say instructions of anyone. So uh, her, then after that, she refused wearing traditional Indian uh, dresses, fine. And then after that, Vita Santosh uh, was sent to a local village school. But when she turned 16 year old, as per the custom, so whosoever was sent at the same school in the family of uh, Santosh Yadav, her parents, you know, there was a custom that at the age of 16, girls should get married. She refused it, bluntly refused it. She said that she's not going to get married at the age of 16 because she was interested in higher studies. She had a say in the family, she kept on putting forth her points that she's not going to take it for granted that she will get married at the age of 16 only. Fine. So she, parents pressurized her, but she uh, left her uh, house. She joined a school in Delhi and she passed a high school from Delhi only against the wishes of her parents. So that was the beginning of her revolution. The changes she has going, uh, she was going to make. Fine. Clear? She left her home. She completed schooling. She completed high school from Delhi. Fine. High school is your class 10th. Fine. Senior secondary is class plus two. So higher secondary career was high school pass kia Delhi se. <coughs> then she went to Jaipur from Delhi. She went to Jaipur and she joined Maharani College and got a room in Kasturba Hostel over there. Clear? So you should know. She went to Jaipur after that, clear, after Delhi, next destination. And there she joined Maharani College. All the facts you should know.
clear and she got she was living in kasturba hostel the way you know students live they hire a place for that she was living in kasturba hostel and from the window of that hostel room of kasturba hostel who's kasturba yes so magan at least knows this the hostel is named after uh, uh, mahatma gandhi's wife kasturba so that hostel was there and from the window of that hostel she used to watch villagers going up the hill she had a view of the hills from the window of the hostel and she would see a group of villagers going up the hill and then they disappeared what is there so that was the curiosity that what are they doing exactly they reach the hill and then they disappear so uh, when uh, she decided to go and check herself that one day i will go and uh, she went over there she checked and then she met met a few mountaineers over there fine she met mountaineers and there started the journey of her life who are the mountaineers mountain likhe e e r s who scale heights of mountains by taking all the precautions fine so uh, she met many mountaineers over there and uh, she enjoyed you know she loved this idea of climbing mountains all together in a group so she you know showed her interest that even i would like to go along and they they allowed her also they said okay if you wish to join us you can join us so she saved the money and uh, you know mountaineering is a course in itself it is not like that it is a hobby yes your hobbies can if you are having passion for a particular uh, thing you can make it as a profession also so mountaineering is a proper course so she started searching for this thing she saved money she enrolled herself in a course at uttarakashi's nehru institute of mountaineering uttarakashi's nehru institute of mountaineer and what do you learn in such courses all the dangers involved all the precautions to be taken your health checkups fine so it's not like uh, very easy for edit every person can go for trekking no the people who are bodily fit fine they can walk for many miles and they know the art of hydrating themselves by keep keeping the water bottles and other eatables and uh, proper shoes are required for mountaineering n number of objects n number of factors are there so she joined this nehru institute of uh, mountaineering at uttarakashi and she went on expedition every year where her journey started she got a group of people who were mountaineers and every year she would go for expeditions what is expedition divya yes uh, journey expeditions are journeys only clear so every year she developed a remarkable resistance to cold you know the more we are exposed to different weathers the more chances of our acceptance humne apne aap ko itna bana liya na like we are like we people are sitting in one room all the time not going beyond our not going to different weathers that's why we we, we fall sick and why people of elderly uh, old era they scarcely used to get ill because wo different weathers ko accustom karte the hamari body sehti nahi hai the reason being we never go out and we, our body does not have the experience of facing it that is the major factor so when she started going for expedition every year her body became accustomed to it when used to it and and sincerity came in 1992 when she scaled mount everest at 20 years of age please note down uh in 1992 at the age of 20 she scaled mount everest clear so that was the turning point of her life after that she never looked back fine and uh, she was the youngest woman what is the title somya please listen now you should know she is the youngest woman to scale mount everest this is the achievement which is still dead we know her fine so uh, youngest woman who scaled mount everest 
एंड वट एल्स इज रिक्वायर्ड फिजिकल एंडस तो चाहिए ही और क्या रिक्वायर्ड है माउंटेनरी यस आयरन विल your determination and will should be there mental endurance should also be there if mentally we are saying ki i cannot go i cannot scale i am a girl i do not have the power i do not have the physical strength you know even boys hesitate of scaling mount everest and uh, iron sort of will power determination physical endurance mental balance is required Fine, you should be able to control your mind because कुछ भी हो सकते हैं वट एवर सरकमस्टांसिस कैन बी देर यू हैव टू बी स्मार्ट इनफ टू मैनेज इट सो कलमिनेशन ऑफ हर हार्ड वर्क एंड सिंसरिटी केम इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू एंड देन शी वॉज द यंगस्ट वुमेन टू अचीव दिस एंड इंडो नेपलिस वुमेन्स एक्सपीडिशन एंड रोल संतोष एज अ मेंबर एंड इन्वाइटेड हर टू ज्वाइन दम सो आफ्टर दैट शी गॉट इन्विटेशन फॉर इंडो नेपलिस organization also okay and then she scaled mount everest second time with the indo nepalese organization when she joined she got second chance to scale mount everest clear the indian government you know uh, they have uh, bestowed padma shri to this girl which is very prestigious award not given to each and every person so she received padma shri please note down by indian government she is a fervent environmentalist let me tell you one more thing about this girl that santosh yadav was no doubt she was a mountaineer first then she scaled mount everest twice and then she became uh, an environmentalist also environment word likhoge pehle theek hai a l i s t who is environmentalist the person who is involved in taking care of the environment in one or the other ways how does she became she has collected and brought down 500 kilograms of garbage from himalayas she was the uh, that woman who brought 500 kgs garbage it means who has scattered garbage over there animals are not going to do that human beings we go for vacations to celebrate our uh, occasions and we go there and then we just put garbage here and there and she was the one to bring back that garbage that shows that she is the very good environmentalist as well so that's all for this santosh yadav uh, what is the message this chapter conveys to us yes anybody ridhima what is the message you get from this chapter from the story of santosh yadav we should be determined give up so we should give our some part in environment as well according to you Yes, Magan. What message you learned out of this? Yes, we should face each and every difficulty. Yes, Divya. Never leave your own personality. Be yourself only. Yes, Samya. What you have learned? Same points. Copy paste. बोल दो फिर. so somia says copy paste sare points uh, okay sit down uh, the chapter uh, also conveys one more message nobody has spoken that point faith in ourselves ho gaya han ji dhairya what do you say yes environmentalist anybody else from online children one point is missing you people have given wonderful answers already given ji i saying we should try and try till we reach the top yes very good ji a but still one point is left no it's it's not like nothing is impossible women are yes very good prachi aroda has given the answer women are none less than men gender equality this is the major point you missed 
आई टोल्ड यू इन द बिगिनिंग ना पेट्रियार्कल सोसाइटी है वेयर मेन आर गिवन मेल डोमिनेंस इज देयर वाई वी आर इक्वल्स फाइन सो मेन एंड वेमेन बोथ आर इक्वल पार्ट ऑफ द सोसाइटी जेंडर इन इक्वालिटी शुड बी अबोलिश both the genders are uh, or should be considered equally that is the along one more message in this fine even men can conquer mountains even women as she has proved that women are physically strong and even stronger than that fine so this is all about part 1 and tomorrow we will revise part 2 any doubts to anyone yes beta that is there in the please open the book facts are written over there 